this video, I will consider one numerical on superposition theorem. Find current I in the circuit shown below using superposition principle. This is the given circuit. Here we can see that the current I is flowing in 8 ohm register. We are supposed to calculate this I using superposition principle or superposition theorem. So before applying theorem, I will try to reduce this circuit. As we can see here, we have two voltage sources and one current source which is in parallel with register. I will try to convert this current source into voltage source so that the simplification will become still easy. So I will try to convert this voltage current, current source into voltage source. So I will keep this 6 ohm as it is. So here we have 8 volt voltage source. Let this be 8 volt. This is 6 ohm. So as we know, we are supposed to apply source transformation here. We have to convert current source into voltage source. So we know V is equal to I into R. So I is here 2 and register value is 2. So the magnitude of voltage source is 4 volt. So let me connect 4 volt in series. So with respect to the polarity, the head end of the arrow should be positive. This should be negative. It is 4 volt. This register should appear in series with this. So this is 2 ohm. So here this 8 ohm is connected again in series. This is 8 ohm and here we have 6 volt voltage source. This is 6 volt. So this is I. This I we supposed to calculate. So as we know in superposition theorem, we have to consider one source at a time and we have to find the individual current. So let me consider 8 volt source alone. So that is consider 8 volt source alone. So when we consider a single source, the other source should be set equal to 0. So if there is a voltage source, we have to short it. If there is a current source, we have to open it. So here we can see that we have two voltage sources. We have to short these two voltage sources. Let me redraw the, cir redraw the circuit. So here I, have, I am considering only 8 volt source. This is 8 volt. We have 6 ohm in series with this. This is 6 ohm. So here we can see 4 volt source. We have to short this and we have to short this. So now, so if we short this, the 6 ohm, 2 ohm and 8 ohm will appear in series. So this is 2 ohm and then we have, this is 8 ohm and here there was voltage source, it is also shorted. So now I will assume that current through this 8 ohm register is say I1. So now let me simplify this, apply KVL to this, that is 8 is equal to, all registers are in series. So this is 6 plus 2 plus 8, that is 16 I1, therefore I1 will be equal to 8 by 16, that is nothing but 0 0.5 amps. So therefore, current through 8 ohm register, considering 8 volt source alone is I1 is equal to 0 0.5 amps. So now in superposition theorem, similarly, now let me consider this 4 volt source alone. So now consider 4 volt source alone. So if we consider 4 volt source alone, 8 volt and 6 volt source should be short circuited. So that is, here we have 6 ohm and here we have 4 volt voltage source, we have 4 volt, this is plus minus, this is 4 volt and we have 2 ohm and this is 8 ohm and 8 volt source should be short circuited, here also we have short circuited. So now let me assume current through this 8 ohm register is say I2. Now similarly, again apply KVL to this loop. I can start with this voltage source. That is 4 is equal to all three registers are in series. 
that is 8 plus 2 plus 6 that is 16 i2 therefore i2 will be equal to 4 by 16 which is nothing but 0 0.25 amps so therefore current through 8 ohm register considering 4 volt source alone is i2 is equal to 0 0.25 amps so now consider 6 volt source alone in that case 4 volt source and 8 volt source should be short circuited let me draw the equivalent circuit consider consider 6 volt source alone so we have 6 ohm register here we have 2 ohm and here we have 8 ohm there is a 6 volt voltage source alone and here there was a voltage source which will be short circuited so now let me assume current through this is I3. So now here we can see that according to this polarity, this is plus, this is minus. So let me consider the current through this loop is say X. So if I apply KVL to this loop, I can write 6 is equal to, we have 8X plus 2X plus 6X. That is nothing but all registers are in series. So that is 8 plus 2 plus 6 that is 16x therefore x will be equal to 6 by 16 which is nothing but 0 point three seven five. but here we can see that i3 is opposite to x so therefore i can write i3 is equal to minus x because i3 and x are opposite to each other therefore i3 will be equal to minus 0 0.375 therefore so therefore i3 is equal to minus 0 0.375 amps so now let me calculate the total current flows through 8 ohm register that is i is equal to i1 plus i2 plus i3 therefore i is equal to we have i1 is 0 0.5 that is 0 0.5 plus i2 is 0 0.25 0 0.25 and i3 is minus 0 0.375 so simplifying this we will get i is equal to 0 0.375 amps or we can write 375 milli so this is the total current flows through 8 ohm register and it is calculated using superposition theorem. Thank you for watching.